Hi, my name is Ricky, and this is my presentation on aircraft corrosion control and prevention. So aircraft cleaning, uh, corrosion is pretty inevitable. It's going to happen. Um, but before you can just go start scrubbing an aircraft or spraying it down with whatever chemicals, uh, you need to be mindful of um, what materials on the plane uh, there are and then what materials they can uh, withstand. Um, with that being said, you don't want to put any um, specific sort of solvent or any kind of oil-based uh, cleaners on like your windows, which are usually acrylic or a type of plastic. Um, and you don't wanna, you know, use any type of, of acids that you would use for cleaning one thing to, you know, clean something that it should not be cleaning. So there's a couple different types of corrosion that happen. Uh, you have oxidation, that's actually a chemical reaction when metal is exposed to uh, air or oxygen. Uh, surface corrosion, that's basically uh, the metal being exposed to the elements, as well as intergranular and exfoliation corrosion. Uh, it's going to be rapid heating and cooling of uh, the aluminum grains. A couple more types of corrosion, you get stress corrosion, that's going to be like your actual bending and flexing and causing hard cracks uh, as well as your galvanic corrosion. Um, that's going to be when two different types of metals make contact and they just react in ways that you don't want them to. Causes for corrosion. Flight, so um, air, uh, just, just you know, the, the air beating against the aircraft at intense uh, wild speeds. Um, once again, water, uh, you know, flying in rainy seasons or like rainy climates, water beating on the outside of the aircraft, water, you know, gets into all the little nooks and crannies, and uh, salts when you're operating in coastal climates. Salt is a very corrosive uh, material. A couple more causes for corrosion. Um, so acids, you're going to find that in like your... Uh, in, uh, and like your batteries <coughs> mercury uh, it's not commonly found near aircraft however if it does come in contact with the aluminum on aircraft it is extremely corrosive so stay away from that and then or, uh, organic growth so you know mold algae and other uh, types of bacteria that grow in or around the the aircraft so a couple spots that are kind of hot spots for corrosion um Seams and joints, anywhere, you know, the paint or the uh, cor corrosion uh, prevention has, has, po has possibly peeled up. Um, and hinges, uh, engine inlet areas. A couple other different types of spots. Um, around the engine mounts, um, near the engine exhaust, you can have a lot of soot uh, and carbon buildup around there. Your wheel wells. <coughs> Taken off into your wet or rainy climate, you're going to get a lot of water just kind of sitting up there and brewing up inside the wheel wells. And then a couple more spots. Uh, the corrosion is, is, uh, has a good strong presence um, in your bilge areas. Uh, so that's where your water collects and it, and, you know, it pumps out uh, if necessary, like your low points. Uh, welded areas that tend to be um, a very vulnerable area for, for, for metals as well as lavatories and food service areas. So you got the different greases and things like that uh, coming off the foods and the steam. Detecting corrosion is a couple different ways you go about it. Uh, the first being, you know, visual inspection. Look and see what you can see. Penetrant, it's going to be used with a dye. <coughs> where you drip a little bit of dye and it'll, uh, as the picture shows there, it'll really bring cracks uh, and other issues um, uh, to a good visual point. You can see it really well. Ultrasonic is gonna be uh, used with um, basic ultrasonic waves um, that can feel if, if there's uh, basically a weak point or if metal is not detached and you can kind of pinpoint um, where that issue is coming from, as well as radiographic inspection. So it's gonna be kind of like an x-ray. So removing and treating corrosion, uh, 
you got mechanical, you got your good old fashioned elbow grease scrubbing, chipping away at it. Uh, chemical, where you know, spray down with chemical, you know, get a little chemical reaction out of it to eat it away. Um, you've got your protective coating that, you know, after an aircraft is, is painted, um, you go ahead and spray that on there to prevent any corrosion from happening, as well as your oxide film, which is going to be another uh, form of protection. Here's my references. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. Thank you.